Oftentimes, I hear people from around the world, entrepreneurs, artists, people who have dreams, who have passion for something and they want to go fulfilling a calling, a purpose, a destiny in life. And I hear them speaking about the imposter's syndrome. Basically, they don't feel good enough to do the work that they are they, they want to do or the work that they feel called to do. They feel inadequate, they feel not good enough. But you know what? This is a mindset that's available only in the world. This is not a mindset in the kingdom of God. The children of God who have been set apart by the Almighty God, called and chosen before they were born. They were, they were de designed and destined for a specific calling, path, purpose, plan of God in their lives. They don't have or they shouldn't have the imposter's syndrome. Let me show you why. Because God is unbelievably amazing. He is the one who calls you. He is the one who chooses you. He is the one who draws you, who motivates you, who feeds you for purpose, who empowers you, and then who does the work through you. So basically, all you, need, all you have to do is to surrender. Open up everything, surrender everything to Jesus Christ, and he will be the one to do the work in you. It is God at work in you, both to will, basically to will the path, to choose the path for you, and to work. And I want to share with you something that it's so um, incredibly uh, beautiful. It's from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. When uh, Paul writes, he says, For he, meaning God, who motivated and fitted and worked effectively through him, through Peter, for the mission to the circumcised, to the, to, to the Jewish people. He also motivated and fitted me and worked through me also for the mission to the Gentiles. So basically, God, when he separates you, he takes you for a specific calling, he fits you. So he inspires you by putting faith and a burning desire in you and the will to do something. After that, he takes you through a process to fit you for purpose. We don't have the same purpose. Some are called to be preachers, some are called to be engineers and astronauts, some are called to be writers. So God himself chooses the gifts and the calling for each one of us. And then he gives us the gifts and he goes with us through a process. The process can be through fire sometimes to fit us for purpose, to fit us for purpose. So whatever the purpose that God has for you, stay in your track. This is why it's so important not to want to be like other people. You have to be like the one that God wants you to be. So your end goal is to be in nature like Jesus Christ, but to be you, to be you as God has created, designed, and destined for you to be. He gave you the gifts that uh, you are to be used. That's the talents that he gave you. He draws you, he gave you the calling, and he takes you through the process to fit you for his purpose. So obviously, depending on the purpose, the process is different, is individual, is unique for you. Unique calling, unique purpose, unique process to be fitted for purpose. And then it is God who works in you. God is in Christ and Christ is in you. And God works in you all, three, all things through Jesus Christ in you. So if Jesus Christ doesn't live in you, this, is, this doesn't apply to you. You just go around doing your own thing. But if you are a child of God and the Lord Jesus Christ lives in you and he grows in you, all things that God does in you works them through Jesus Christ. So you have a unique, a unique destiny, a unique path, a unique calling from God and also a unique process that you, that you have to go through. That's how special, that's how marvelous and that's how unique you are both for God and 
for the people on this earth.